Hi friends, we are using CSS to apply the styles to our web page. We have three types of style sheets. The first one is inline style sheet. First one is inline style sheet. When you are writing the all styles in the tag, then it is called inline style sheet. The example for the inline style sheet is first tag name. Next, use the keyword style is equal to is equal to property column value. Next, like that, you can write number of properties and values. Next, open the tag. And whatever the content you want, write write the whole content and then close the tag. This is the basic syntax for the inline style sheet. If you write an example h1 space use the keyword style is equal to color column value semicolon content whatever you want to write h1. Next and the second type of style she is sheet is called internal style sheet. Internal style sheet. Styles. When you are going to mention the all styles in the head, you have to write the all styles in the head. And when you are writing styles, use the style tag. Over style tag and close the style tag. Here in this style tag you have to write the all styles selector name here. What is the selector? Here selector means tag name only our element for which element you are applying the styles for which element you are applying the styles. For example, it is h1 write the h1 and what are the properties you want to apply or apply the properties P R O P E R the property column value. Next that is internal style sheet. Now, we will see a small example I have read a small example. Mm -hmm. Copy paste here selector for example selector means element name only selector means element name for example you are applying the styles for the h1 tag here write h1 next property is color next value what are the value you want means for the color what you can mention you are going to mention the color name only instead of writing the color name you can write color code also in the hexadecimal format next third one is internal style sheet sorry third one is external style sheet then only external style sheet. In the external style sheet what you have to do? We have to save the all styles in one file and save that file with the extension dot css. For example, you are saving the file all styles in file name dot css. We have to save the css file or styles file in in the format of c dot css only. Next, make a link in the html. How to make a link? In our head tag, in the head tag, open the head, close the head. In the head, write the styles, whatever the styles you want to enter. Here, mm, sorry, make a link by using link tag, link space rel is equal to what is the relationship between the style sheet and html? The style sheet only that is why I write style sheet s t y l e s h e t style sheet and h r e f in that h r e f you have to write the all styles you have to write the sorry you have to write the file name file name dot c s s this is making a link this type of style sheet is called external style sheet this is called external style sheet 
now we will see a small program on this one open html close html head head body body Uh, on the desktop, I am saving this file with the extension sample sample dot html. Save it. In that body tag, what I am going to write is first I am writing a h1 tag. Open the h1, close the h1 with small example. Mm, I am writing some content sample sample. Save it. Then stop you have that file sample dot html as you are writing sample this mm. is to default ok this is our page now I want to apply the styles through internal sorry inline now I want to write the inline styles in the inline styles what you have to do use the keyword style style is equal to property I want to apply color that is why I will write color column red save it refresh here you are getting the page in red color next if you want to apply background color basically in html what you are doing you are using a property bg color but here in this css you have to write background color b a c k g r o e n d background c o l o r color I am going to give light blue, light ghtblu, light blue. Save it. Yes, we are getting a background color as light blue. I have one more h1 with the name content c o n t e n t. Save it. Here, for the second, first one is in the h1 and second one is also in the h1, but the style is applying for only the first h1 why because we are writing inline style sheet we are writing inline style sheet if you want to apply again you have to copy this whole thing again copy and paste it in the second h1 then you will get the same style for the h1 also now what i want to do is now i am deleting this thing now i am going to write internal style sheet save it now I am going to write internal. In that internal style sheet, okay, head. How to write the internal? Open the style tag and close the style. Inside this style, write the all styles whatever you want to apply. I am writing H1. I am applying same. I am applying these styles for the H1. Here color is red and background color b s c k g or o v e n d background i have one color in css when you are using more than one word in the property you have to use the keyword i have one here background is one word color is one word that is why in between the two words use the hyphen background color is light blue save it now see you now what is happening i am applying styles for the h1 tag where i am writing i am writing this thing in the style tag head this is internal style sheet. what is happening here with the single within the single line we are applying the styles to the two elements but both are same elements only but if we uh, if you are writing the styles in the inline the code will increase because of the internal style sheet what is happening the code is reduced i have one more tag paragraph in that paragraph i am pasting some content saved yes. now i want to apply the same styles for the paragraph element also i want to apply same style for the paragraph element also it's very simple comma selector name 
what is the first cell for is h1 comma i am uh, i am going to have a cells for the paragraph that's why ugp save it now refresh the page here observe it now you are getting the same styles for the paragraph also like that when you are applying same style for the number of elements you can apply it is very easy to apply in styles the code is reduced when compared to the inline style sheet and the next thing is and the next thing is <coughs> external cell sheet how to do how to write the external cell sheet first what i am doing is here i am going to copy the all styles what is this i am copying the cut cut the styles delete mm. and paste it this is in the separate file you have all styles save this file with the extension dot css you can give anything i am writing the file name is sample and the extension is css it and save it this is our css file okay save it this is our sample dot html file okay refresh the page now you are not getting any styles why because here you have sample dot html file here you have sample.css file what do you have to do if you have this file it will not apply the styles will not apply on the h1 will not apply on the sample html page what do you have to do you have to make a link between the css and html how to do that one by using link tag by using link tag link space rel means relationship is style sheet space h r e f is equal to the head reference what you are going to write is in that h r e f um mm, file name s a m p l dot c s s our file name save it refresh the page here you are getting the same states here what i can do is if it is internal if it is internal cell sheet i have one more page that is name dot html i want to apply the same style those are in the sample dot css what i can do i can mention this link in sample dot html and i can embed in name dot html also we, what we can do if it is external cell sheet we can embed that external cell sheet in number of pages in number of pages this is the sample example on internal cell sheet inline cell sheet and external cell sheet mm -hmm. and next tag is now we are going to see now i'll write internal only okay open the style close this tag now we will see what are the properties we can apply for the background now you will see now i don't have any content on the web page now on the desktop go okay, on the desktop i have a image new dot gif okay now styles now we are going to see background styles what are the properties we can apply for the background okay first one is now i am applying the styles for the whole web page that's why what i am doing i am using body tag open the body and close the body inside the body apply this all styles first thing is i am writing some content on this body tag hmm sorry i am going to paste some content mm. paste paste save it mm. now you have the content like this now first thing one is color color is i am writing white only double h t white you save it 
it is not visible why because the content is also in white color okay this i will change the background color b a c k g r o e n d background hyphen color is hash 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can use hexadecimal code also as you are getting the color you are getting text in white color you are getting background is in dark blue and next thing is next i want to apply background image b a c k g r o and the background image property by using that background image property you can mention the image u r l where you have that image where you have that image ok mm. new dot gif i am going to use new dot gif only i am writing new dot g i f gif save it refresh the page now i am writing the page like this or i will use another image yeah, we may have one more image also. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rename it. Right click. Rename. Okay. The name is a.jpg. Here I am using this GIF files. You can use JPG format. You can use any format. I am using a dot JPG. Save it. Now refresh the page. It's very big. But in the previous image, what is happening? The image is repeatedly. You are the image is gay. You are getting that image repeatedly. Here the image is very big. That's why you are getting only one image. If you use new dot gif here the image is very small that's why it is repeatedly it is coming now I, what i want to do is i want i don't want to make it repeat i don't want to make it repeat that's why i'm going to use b a c k g r o n d background repeat r e p e t repeat what are the properties we can apply in the sorry what are the values we can write in the background repeat is the default one is repeat only the default one is repeat only now i am writing no repeat save it oh now it is not repeated repeatedly it is not coming now you are getting only one image okay what are the pro value that is the first value no repeat is the first value and the second one is okay repeat repeat x oh it is repeated in the x axis only means horizontally it is the image is repeated in the x axis only when i use y you will get the all image in the y axis means oh, vertical and now i am writing these are comments now i am writing multi line comments here i am writing the values that we can use in the background repeat is the first one is repeat r e p e t repeat next repeat x repeat y here default one is repeat and no repeat these all properties we can use in the background repeat all values we can use in the background repeat property next one is okay here i have only one image why because i am going to write no repeat i have only one image next one is background size next one is background size b oh, background size i am giving 200 pixels and 300 pixels one is from first one is 
uh, on the x axis position and second one is y axis means here 200 is width and 300 is height refresh the page 200 is width and 300 is height that is background says what is it is applying on the background image next one is background position b a c k g r o e and the background position in the background in the background position what i am doing is i am writing top save it you are written top center by default you are written top center when i give bottom b o t t o m bottom where you will get you will get this thing on the bottom of the page I can use the left also left left side of the page right right side of the page oh. now we will see what are the values we can apply in the background position the first one is top left right top left right and bottom after the bottom mm, what we can use now we will check one by one and next property is top i sorry space r i g h t what i mean top right oh now it is top right next if i use top left the top left is the default one that means we can write top left top space left ok next top space right and you can use one more thing that is center also save it now you are getting the image on the center of the web page next top right top left right next center and bottom left bottom left and bottom right b o t t bottom left bottom right you can use this all values in the background position top left right bottom top left top right bottom left bottom right you can use all these things and now what i am doing is here in the background position what I am going to do here I am writing 200 pixels ok space 300 pixels now see the output refresh the page what is happening here here from the right side sorry from the left side it is 200 pixels which in the x axis x axis from the top it is 300 pixels like that in the background position you can mention the gap from the left side and gap from the top also along with these all values you can use those all things and the next thing is and next one is background position and the next thing is background oh, now only background position is over hello class lona tarwaji next thing is background attachment attach chment -E attachment in the background attachment what i am writing is i am going to write now i am not writing anything save it here i am not writing anything okay in the background says what i am doing is i am changing that image as a dot jpg a dot jpg by using this thing what we can do okay and i am changing the height and width also using by using background size 
in that background says we can mention the size in the percentage also 100 percent means width 100 percent width means it is occupying the whole width on the web page and I am writing 100 percent on the y axis means it is occupying the whole height also save it and here I am going to delete this thing when I keep I pen before the background it will not work ok now it is occupying the whole height and whole width now the image is occupying whole height and width next here in the background attachment I am not writing anything now I will write it later first I am going to paste some content on the web page control V save it oh here you are getting scroll bar also click and drag here you are getting scroll bar you can ok along with the content what is happening the background image is also scrolling it is also moving now I do not want like that now I do not want like that I do not want to move that whole background I do not want I do not want to move that whole background that is why here what I am doing is here in the background attachment I am writing background attachment is f i x e d fixed means it will not move refresh oh here what is happening scroll the content what is happening here the content is scrolling but the background image is not moving ok if you want to change the color of the text you can change mm, I am changing it as what is the color ok black only as 0 0 0 means black black color screw it now the background image is not moving it is not moving these are the background properties delete now we do not have any content on the web page now what I am doing I am writing paragraph open paragraph and close the paragraph in that paragraph I am pasting some content I have some paragraph ok I have this all content on the paragraph now we will see, now we will see what are the properties we can apply in the paragraph here selector name is paragraph and open this brackets in the brackets I am writing the color is you can write in the I am writing white only slash f f f means white color ok next background color b a c k g r o u and the background colors color I am giving hash 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok now when you observe from the top and left here you can observe ok now observe it here here now what I am doing is ok I am writing border we can use border also b o r d e r border the basic syntax of the border is border property column next size of the border 1 pixels after size you have to represent style of the border I am writing solid in the border styles we have number of styles like solid, ragged, unhealing, dashed, dotted, double you have number of styles and size of the thus the basic syntax of the border is is 
border is size space style space color what is the color you can use here i am using 00 okay i am using ff 0000 means you will get red color save it refresh the page now if you observe here you are getting background color as red if you have zoom it when you zoom it is visible at here here the background color is red sorry the border color is red next here i am writing one more thing that is padding p a d d i n g padding is 30 pixels p a d d and here i am writing padding is 30 pixels save it refresh oh you are writing what is the padding at here if you don't mention the padding here if i mention icon it will not work the padding will not work okay now okay without padding the content is like this when i mention padding what is happening if you observe the size of the paragraph is also change will change yes it's change what is happening here the size of the paragraph is changed now here the padding means the space the gap from the text and the border is called padding the gap from the text and border is called padding ok now what i am writing is i am going to write one more thing that is now i want the padding only from the top i want the padding only from the top then use iphone right simply top then it will apply only on the top yes here it is applied only on the top only from the top instead of padding top we can write padding top padding left padding right padding bottom you can use these all things ok next one is margin next one is margin m a r g i n margin i am giving 50 pixels what is the margin now you can see what is happening here margin what is the mar margin at here the gap from the border here the gap from the border and above element is called margin here we are applying margin ok it is from top from left from right from bottom the padding sorry the margin is 50 pixels if you want margin only from top and left 